Hi guys, it's Callie from June Mango. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the scroll effect in a computer mock-up if you're showcasing a new website that you built, a blog post or something like that. Um, we're doing this all in Photoshop, so that's the, um, the program that you'll need for this particular tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you guys and we'll get started. Okay, so this is my Photoshop file. I already have this computer mock-up set up here. Um, basically, all we're going to do is we're going to create a clipping mask, which you would do for a static image, um, and we're instead just going to do it for a video. So to create a clipping mask, what you'll do is you will create a little shape layer here that covers the screen. Um, you can adjust this as needed. Obviously, you want to make it kind of fit the size of the screen. Um, so that it covers up whatever was in the mock-up before, and then we're going to layer the scroll effect, the video, on top of it. So now that we have that, we can open up my layers panel, and you can see here's my rectangle, my shape layer there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed, go to File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to select my uh, video layer, my scroll effect video. Okay, so this is going to place um, directly into the file, and this is a recording that I've just already recorded. I use QuickTime. Um, you can see in the steps above for how to do that in the blog post. Um, we're kind of skipping ahead and just showing you the Photoshop file. So what we're doing now is um, placing that over and sizing it to be the right size that it makes, you know, it actually looks like it fits in the computer. So now that I've resized it, I'll go ahead and place it. And you can see that now it's on top of my rectangle layer. So on the bottom, I have my computer mockup. I'll go ahead and hide them. Computer mockup, my rectangle for my clipping mask, and now my scroll effect video. So obviously you'll notice that the video seems static right now, right? It's not moving, it's not doing anything. Um, but once we get a few steps more, you'll see that it, that it is moving, so don't be alarmed. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our clipping mask. So I just did um, control click or right click and then create clipping mask. And now it has clipped to the rectangle file. So in case for some reason this was way bigger, right? Let's say you made it like that. It's not going outside the sides of the computer because it's set inside the clipping mask, which just helps keep it nice and clean, okay? So now that we have our clipping mask set up and all of our layers are there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and just hide this so you can see it better. Um, so what you'll see here is you may see it may be set up as create frame animation. Whatever the drop down is, you wanna just click that little arrow and click create video timeline, okay? And then you'll click the actual create video timeline button. So once you do that, you'll see that it gives you um, your three layers and now they're in this video timeline. So now what we have to do is, as you'll notice, if you kind of scroll along, the video layer itself is much longer than the other layers. Um, and if you were to play this and just see what it looks like, what would happen is you would notice that although it does scroll, if I kind of move this along a little bit faster, um, although it does scroll, what will happen is when you get to the end of these layers of your rectangle layer, um, of your computer layer, instead of staying with the video, it'll just disappear. Okay, so we obviously don't want that to happen because your video is still playing. So all you have to do is come to the sides of each of these layers and we're gonna see that as you hover over your mouse, your mouse will change to whatever the heck icon that is. Um, the arrow where you can pull it and stretch it and so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna stretch these two layers, the rectangle layer first, to be the length of the video layer, okay? All right, so we'll pull it all the way over so that it matches. If your video is pretty long, obviously you'll wanna make sure that it stretches all the way over. Um, the idea is that you pull it all the way to the end, okay? So. You do this for both. I'm not gonna do it all the way now because I think you get the idea. Um, but basically you'll pull it all the way to the end of your video layer so that they match up, okay? So once they match up, then all you have to do, I mean, I would give it a quick test, right? Um, what I find, let's see, where'd my 
scrub go, Let's scrub it back. Um, I find that with when I'm playing it back in Photoshop, my video plays way slower than it does on QuickTime and then also later in real life once you export it. So don't be alarmed that it's going crazy slow. If yours does that too, it's fine. It will export at the normal speed rate, okay? Um, but now you can see that I, it's scrolling in my computer, which is exciting, right? So now that we've set it up, all you have to do is export it out. So if you're saving this onto Instagram or you're gonna share it on Instagram or your website or anywhere that's really a video, um, what you'll wanna do is you will want to export it um, as a video. So we'll go to file, export, and then render a video. Okay. And then, you know, you'll want to select, um, depending on your size, whatever it is, whether you're sharing it on your, you know, like on Instagram, it doesn't need to be that big. If you're going to share it to the world on, you know, a huge TV, obviously you want to change the size of that. And then you just name it and click render and that's it. And that's all you have to do to create the scroll effect in Photoshop.